Hello everyone, it's Allie from Titan and welcome back to our channel. I am here kicking off part one of six of our Call Time Draft Booster Box case opening. So I'm just going to have six different videos, one for each box that we'll be checking out. And I hope we can find some awesome cards. Now based on the text here on the case, these do, these do seem to be Japanese printed cases, ENJ. So I'm assuming we'll have pull tab packs, which I'm not too big of a fan of. But hopefully that won't take me too much extra time to open those on up. Sometimes I do struggle, especially because my nails are very short. Did cut them the other day. So hopefully I don't have too much problem with that. The videos are a reasonable time. And we get to enjoy the opening. Now out of this case, what I want to see is a Phyrexian Vorn Klex. Uh, I did actually pull out of that Collector Booster Box opening earlier the Showcase Foil Vorn Klex. So I feel like the only thing left for me to check out would be that Phyrexian version, which to my knowledge only comes in non-foil. And if it came in foil, I think that thing would be ridiculously expensive. So I guess it's for the best, it only being in non-foil. But I'm going to go ahead and open this on up here. And then of course, each part will just go ahead and take out a new box from the case. Um, we'll see, depending on what we're getting, I might be saving stuff aside for an end of case recap. Uh, but most likely, I'll just be doing a recap at the end of every box. So I'll just go ahead and start with the middle one here, set this case off to the side, and we'll see what we can find. I mean, I'm hopeful that we'll see multiple Vorinclex, not just the Phyrexian. I mean, uh, Vorinclex itself still pre-ordering, at least for us over the past couple days. I've seen still around $40, so that's definitely very nice. Uh, the Valky Mythic as well, I think, is about $25 in just regular non-foil. So some very nice cards in the set. Let's go on ahead and get on into box number one. Bye! Snapping us into the corner, and we'll check it on out. Do have Kai on the front, of course, Call Time, Draft Boosters, age 13 plus. And let's get on into it, cutting open that top, and let's see if we can have a totally awesome case. That is the goal. Of course, that doesn't always happen, but that is always the goal. All right, so it does look like Japanese pull tab packs, but I will struggle uh, with opening them at the bottom. Uh, actually open more easily than the set boosters. I was worried I'd be in like super struggle land, but that seemed pretty okay. We're starting off with a foil here, Glittering Frost, common foil, and a Sika God of the Tree, Mythic number one. All right, not bad, not bad. So let me actually move that over here. And by that, I mean the foil. And we'll see what we can find. Now out of that preview box last Friday, I think I opened it on up. Did I do think I, yeah, I opened a pre-release kit in a regular draft booster. I think that was an English printed one. No, because I don't remember seeing the pull tab packs. Uh, we did pull a Vorinclex, a foil Vorinclex, and a total of nine mythics, I believe. Righteous Valkyrie, Cole the Forge Master. That's actually what I wanted to mention, is it didn't seem like we were getting very many showcases in that box. So definitely a trade-off, you know, mythics are nice. Showcases are nice, but if you had to pick one, probably going to pick the Mythics, so it worked out in our favor there. So I'm curious to see maybe if the Japanese printed boxes have more showcases than others. Starting off with a Furious Retribution for our next rare. But the art, just all the art in the set, absolutely gorgeous. I love the just the theme here of, you know... Norse gods and whatnot, which did their own little magic spin on it. Still have the world tree, the rainbow bridge, stuff like that. See, this is what I was worried about with the pull tab packs. There we go. I got it open, though. But I'm just loving this theme, and I am excited to see what we pull from the case. Snow-covered swamp, mammoth growth. Cosmos charger, rare. But if this is your first time joining us, hey, look at that. We have a borderless henge gate pathway. That's nice. Gorgeous cards, those pathways. Uh, but if this is your first time joining us here for any call time openings, make sure at the end of the video it is linked on screen. Uh, but we do have a playlist of all the call time openings here. We do have some pre-release kits that are already up. Today I already got through a collector booster, a set booster. After these six boxes of draft boosters, I'll be checking out one of each of the theme boosters. I'll be looking at the bundle. And then also have some more draft pre-release kits and collector boosters as personal breaks. So lots of call time here today, celebrating release day with a bang. So I hope you guys enjoy those videos. Lots of different products now coming out with standard sets. 
you know, different, you know, different style of players is what each one is geared to. More fancy foiled out deck collectors with the collector boosters. We have Coma, Cosmo Serpent for our next mythic. Uh, more fresh, fresh blood players uh, with the theme boosters. More so to help uh, newer players kind of get get their feet wet, be like, oh, I like the way this color plays. Let me get more of that for my deck. Oops, I just yeeted all the uncommons across the screen. That is why it is important to keep your piles nice and neat, because otherwise they just bump into each other. That is exactly what I was trying to avoid here. And all right, I fixed it. Japanese cards are always very slippery. I don't know why, because you can actually really feel the difference. They also don't hold ink very well if you're trying to get someone to sign a card for you. Would that be me or somebody else? Uh, I would not recommend bringing Japanese print. The Sharpies don't hold very well. We have Snow-Covered Plains. Egon, God of Death for our next rare. Slippery cards, man. Slippery cards. Also doesn't help that I'm filming this video at 1.45 a.m. That way it's all ready to go for you guys in the morning. So is it the cards being slippery or is it Ali being a smooth brain? We don't actually know. But we can take a guess. We have Turgrid, God of Fright. That should be the video title. Slippery or Smooth Brain. <laughs> Alright, here we go. Next pack. Cole the Forge Master, regular foil. Realm Walker. We have Ingarunai's foil. And a showcase mythic, Halvar, God of Battle. Very cool, see the showcase mythic. That is mythic number three of the box already. And we're pretty early on here into the box. Toma's coil token, I like it. Foil, Emerson, Skull Cairn. Rise of the Dreadmorn. Splendid Marshall, Mythic number four. Haunting Voyage, Mythic number five, Mythic Central up in here. Finn the Fangbearer, Showcase. Glorious Protector for our next rare. Pyre of Heroes. Arctic Tree Line, Snowland, The World Tree, Regular Land, Agar, The Freezing Flame, Showcase, Arnie Broken Bow is our next rare. Felt like there was going to be a mything in that pack, just based on the way the card was kind of curved. Maybe it's just a curvy Arnie without even being a foil. Very odd there. It did definitely feel like a foil was coming up. Village Rights Foil. Dragonkin Berserker.
Cosmos Elixir for our next rare. Let me straighten up these foils. feel like they're sliding around a little bit too much. All right, here we go. Next pack. We have Saruf Realm Eater. Showcase rare. That's cool. Let me know in the comments down below. I'm curious for your guys' thoughts. Which have been your favorite showcases out of the products that Magic has done showcases for? So was it Throne of Eldraine, Theros Beyond Death, the Core Set 2021, or Zendikar, or of course Kaldheim here, Herald Unites the Elves, um, or Ikoria, which I am really partial to those Ikoria the Triomes. Um, the other ones I wasn't super crazy about, uh, but I absolutely love those alternate art showcase Triomes. But you know what? These are really cool. I also really like the Throne of Eldraine ones that had kind of a I don't know, I guess maybe storybook gothic style. Uh, I really like those, but you know what? The, these frames are something else as well. But I don't know how I would rank them. I don't know. It would be hard for me to pick which ones are my favorites, but those are definitely my top three. Wasn't too crazy about the Theros ones. Um, not, not a fan of the corset ones. They just didn't do it for me really at all. Um, but the Triomes, 10 out of 10. Hey, look at that. We got a foil blight step pathway borderless in seer step pathway. I love double-sided foils. They just, I don't know, they seem really awesome to me. Faceless Haven for our next rare. But let me know if you have a distinct favorite. Let me know which one it is down below in the comment section. We have Wings of the Cosmos and Tybalt's Trickery. We have Search for Glory, Foil Rare. Nice. Raven's Warning, Regular Rare. Blessings of the Frost. Seeker's Chariot. Almost at the end of our first box here. And we'll go ahead and do our recap. Runeforge Champion, Furia, Judge of Valor, or Valor, excuse me, uncommon for, uh, uncommon showcase. That was just a bad sentence there. I will fully admit that. I was like, foil, no, showcase, yes. No foil showcases, although we did get a foil borderless pathway. Mystic Reflection. Hey, look at that foil mythic Nico Ares. Very nice. Another mythic. I was actually just wondering if we were going to see another since we've had so many in this box. And you know what? We found a foil mythic, which is even better than a regular non foil mythic. Very cool. Nico Ares, new planeswalker. All right. We are actually getting very close to the end here. Just four packs remain by the looks of it after this one. We have Graven Lore. Up next, we have Crippling Fear. Bears of Lityara. Second 
the last pack of draft booster box number one. We have Rally the Ranks, Morit of the Frost Showcase, and the last pack here of draft booster number one. Let's see if we can find yet another mythic. We have Showdown of the Scalds Regular Rare. All right, so that'll do it here for this first draft booster box of the case. Did already hit a foil mythic, so that might be our case hit. Let me go ahead and move the actual box out of the way, and let's get into a quick recap of the highlights of this box. So we did get foil, borderless, blight step, and seer step pathway. Also foil mythic, Nico Eris. One foil rare, search for glory. Other mythics, we did have four. We had Asika, God of the Tree, Coma, Cosmo Serpent, Resplendent Marshal, and Haunting Voyage. Also had a showcase mythic, bringing us up to six mythics in this box. Halvar, God of Battle. Also had one showcase rare, Saruf, Realm Eater, Multicolor. Another borderless pathway, this time non-foil, Hengegate, and Mistgate. And then actually a nice big old stack of foil common and uncommon that'll do it here for this box first box of the case might save this pile of fancier things for a case recap not certain on that just quite yet uh, but yeah very very cool very nice to see a foil mythic here box number one foil pathway so i think we did well here in the first box no vorinclex no valkies but I'm sure those will be coming in the next several boxes. But that is it for me here on this first box. If you enjoyed the opening, don't forget to go ahead and hit that like button. If you have any comments for me, go ahead and leave those down below. Like I said, let me know which of these showcase arts has been your favorite ever since Throne of Eldraine. I'm very curious to hear you guys' thoughts. And if you're not yet part of the Titan Cards family, we'd love to have you with us. Make sure you go ahead and hit that subscribe button. Also, before I go, I do have to give a big shout out to all of our channel members. Thank you so much, you guys, for going above and beyond with your support of the channel. We really do truly appreciate it. We do have four Black Label fans, Anden, Bounty Hunter Breaks, Epicenter Gaming, and Steven Olivo. also do have eight Gem Mint fans, Anthony Basileo, Devon, Dusty Art Chalena, Geriatric Geek, Jake Ryan OC, Joe Howe, Michael C, and Stephen Bly. So thank you so much, you guys. Like I said, for your above and beyond support, really do appreciate it. And all channel members do have their names shown on screen at the end of every video. But that is it here for box number one. So let me go ahead and get this cleaned up, and I'll catch you guys in a little bit with box number two. So thank you so much for watching, everyone. Take care, stay safe, I'll catch you in the next video. Bye!